Ben Sauls will kick it off for Pitt. Trying to bounce back after being dragged a week ago against Notre Dame. And we're underway with toe meeting leather. Ja'Kai Douglas and Darian Williamson, the receivers. They set up the screen to the tight end. That's Douglas. Picks up a first down out to the 42 yard game. Douglas in motion. They fake the sweep. Johnny Wilson at six foot seven. That's about 13 feet of receivers on the sideline. Talent to Jahe. Defend Florida State, and that's what we'll see. They've already picked up a couple of first downs. On the Panther side of midfield, the handoff. Tofili put it on the ground, recovered by Pitt. Trying to bounce back after throwing four interceptions a week ago. Flemister is going to get back to the line. The starting game is going right. You keep him clean, you give him some clean throwing lanes, I think you'll get a good performance. If you don't, it could be a long, long day. Redshirt sophomore out of the shotgun. Going to hand it off. And nothing doing up for those ends really like Jared Verse and Patrick Payton. Third down, they pin their ears back and force up a punt return touchdown. So special teams wasn't one of their strong points last week as well. This one will carry them all the way down inside the 10, inside the 5. Wow. Trey Benson in the backfield. After we saw Toa Feely on the opening series. Travis using his legs. Little option, a late pitch. And that might have been past the line of scrimmage. Thus an illegal pass. Let's see what that flag is about. It's complete to Morlock. It's definitely a forward pass, and you have Ryman downfield. Ruling on the field is an illegal pass on the offense, number 13. That plays under further review. So they're going to look at it. Can't move him much further. But second down and five. Seminoles. Play clock at 10. Travis hands it off to Trey Benson, who had a big week. Benson, of course, with his height at six foot seven, a favorite target of Jordan Travis. And those two guys leave a cavernous hole in the offense. Travis, complete for the first down, a 13. Wise, you're going to get a steady dose of that from Jordan Travis. First down and 10 from the 24. Douglas in motion, the top of your screen. Now out on the flank blocking. This is Benson. The Morlock and Douglas, the tight ends. That's Ja'Kai Douglas in motion. Little flea flicker. Travis into coverage. Incomplete. Broken up by A.J. Wood. He Hallmark. Pressure on the quarterback at all times. Third and six. He delivers for the first down. Receivers on this football team. It's big that Coleman and Johnny Wilson aren't playing, but these young guys, they will step up. They will deliver. Somebody's got to get those targets. So Philly in motion. They're going to hand it off. Florida State offense. Second and long. They set up the screen. Got a man wide open. That's Hill with the first down. Ran over his defender. Oh, he put his hat down and gave smoke all the way down to 16. Donovan McMillan got eviscerated when Hill put his hat down. A gain of 48 on the play. When we talked about the screen game and how it was going to play a big part in the Florida State attack. And you can see Rodney Hill is going to be one on one against McMillan in the open field. You stop your feet on contact, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get run over, and you're going to be put on Sports Center highlights. 
That's exactly what the result of the play was. First and ten. They're going to hand it off to Rodney Hill. But it can be done. On defense right now, first and ten. They set up another screen. Fell. And the screen used up almost five and a half minutes of possession. On the sweep, Tofili. He put it on the ground last time. Hangs on to it. I'm trying to get the ball to Trey Benson. I'm getting it to my back. We're getting Jordan Travis on the edge. Here's Benson up the middle. He's going to be short. Pick. Up on fourth down to take over. First and ten from their own seven-yard line. There, out of the end zone, completes it for the first down to his tight end. Again. A lot of ball game left. Handed off on first down. Flemister. Farmer, Daniel Lyons, Braden Fist. These guys are studs. They got to get on the edges. Bayer with time from that offensive line. Incomers. They've got to get it to zero. Bub means. Got to get it to Mumfield, number nine. Bayer passing through the hands of his receipts. Came after the punter, Caleb Junko, who got off a great punt last time, pinned them inside the one yard line. By design or by necessity, he can break a game wide open. Douglas in motion. Travis hands it off to his tailback, Trey Benson, the Oregon transfer. Wow, some in great comeback story after tearing up his knee a couple of seasons ago. Here's a design quarterback run. Luther, good to see him back. Second and six. Douglas in motion again. Travis downfield, almost intercepted at the 42. Third and six. Travis gets rid of it downfield, overthrown, and four. Going to come from Alex Mastromano, the Australian, coming into punt. Averaging almost 47 yards per punt this year. Line drive, end over end punt will. Let's we'll see where they spot him. 20. They do a little wildcat. Direct snap to Hammond Jr. Ball came loose, it looked like. Right there. They are under center here on second and seven. The play action gets it out. Delay of game. Offense. It's a five yard penalty. Third down. The wide receiver Kenny Johnson out in the flat for what could have been a catch and run situation. Just distribute the football. Had it batted down to the line of scrimmage that time. Junko into punt again. He's punted for 53 and 55 yards today so far. This one's returnable. But it takes an auspicious bounce. Against. People expect them to win this game and win it handily. 0-0 here almost near the end of the first quarter. Nice cut by Trey Benson. Stays on his feet and picks up. Second down and four. Douglas in motion. They're going to. Keep it on the ground again. Benson close to a first yeah. down. Downhill. Benson in the backfield. Travis trying to run it. Won't get there. The pick defense. Fourth and two. Seminole is going to punt. Alex Mastromano. Rolls to his right. Nose of the football down. And Devonshire calls a fair catch back on, in that game. Rodney Hammond in the backfield on first and ten. Bayer with no one to throw it to. The ball came out of his hand. Bayer one for seven so far. Total of 17 yards. Taking a shot deep. Got a man in the post. Cut. Mumfield on the move. They spotted. No touchdown signal yet. Still a conversation. Still waiting. 
And they're going to mark it. Eventually, the ball came out. Here's the call. Ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense in the end zone. That plays under further review. Wow. He'd rather have the touchdown. Travis taking a shot after the turnover. Incomplete and a flag going to be called. I mean, that, that's an easy call. I mean, I understand. That's interference. The defense number 14. Automatic first down. At least 10 to nothing by now, but it's still tied. Bell in motion, the tight end. Travis hits him, and he's met immediately at the 28-yard line by Camaro. Firing these linebackers in the A and B gaps, trying to make Jordan Travis make quick decisions as much as possible. Trey Benson in the backfield. Travis, there's another screen, complete to the tight end, Morlock, and he's going to be stopped up a couple of yards shy at the bottom of your screen. A little bunch formation. Travis had it blocked at the line of scrimmage. Afternoon. End over end punt, fair catch called at the 17 yard geography class. Bayer taking a shot incomplete. And we'll say this offensive line holding up so far in pass protection. He steps up there. Looked like he was trying to throw it away, but we might add up. It's a very good group. Bayer hands it off to Daniel Carter, his first kick. Bayer threw it away, up signing with Penn State out of high school. Little pressure coming. They almost got to him, and it's incomplete. Caitlin Deloach, Lundy number 10, Bethune. They've shown up so far today for Florida State's defense. Fair catch call. Two for two. Let me call this play, get back to you, too. First and ten. Benson in the backfield. Travis keeps it, going to pick up a... The run game against us. Second and nine. Hey. Travis taking a shot. Incomplete at the 45-yard line. Third and nine. Travis incomplete and this the effects of not having Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson. There's just no way you can get around it. Ostromano, they came after it a little bit, but he gets it off cleanly all the way down to the 30. The Steelers, that is, builds their own facility and Pitt takes over that entire building. Mm. Nice is all about. Gaping hole up the middle and a nice run. A sprint by Hammond. So far on this drive. First and ten. They're doing just that. Bayer off the play fake. Delivers got a man. Caught at the 18. Means. Personal foul. Illegal use of hands to the face. Defense number 11. That pass will be forced half the distance to the goal. First down. Showing up. They've got some good size ones too. There's the jump ball to prove it. Bates! Touchdown! And for quarterback Christian Bayer. His sixth touchdown pass of the season and another confidence builder partner. It up seven to nothing. Oh. Jordan Travis, meanwhile, just two of his last seven passing. Gonna keep it on a design quarterback run, makes it out to the 30 yard. This offense on track. Douglas in motion. Can hand it off to Benson trying to get to the edge. Stayed on his feet and ran out of bounds where he is. A very prolific member of the football squad. On the screen to the tight end, Douglas, who told Feely in the backfield. Millen had a good week of practice. Tough, big, fast, big hitter. They come right up the middle on Travis, and he beat them, found the hot guy. Before you can find the zone hole. That time Travis won the battle down the sidelines. Incomplete intended for day. You're watching ESPN College Football here on ESPN and
out of the backfield. This is Douglas. More like one of these tight ends open too. The wide receivers just aren't as good as your front line guys. Get it to some of the mismatches on the inside, but get the quarterback on the edge. To a feeling in the backfield. Travis taking a shot. Got the man in the catch. First and goal, Ja'Kai Douglas. Got in behind A.J. Woods. That is a beautiful throw and catch. You see Ja'Kai Douglas on the slot fade, as they call it. And Jordan Travis just puts it right on him. Beautiful throw. That is what you come to expect from a guy of Jordan Travis. Long, and now he's starting to deliver. 38 yards in all, first and goal. They're going to keep it on the ground. And Tofi, who come in at two and six. Tofili stopped up short of the end zone. Camara, Feely in the backfield. He's going to keep it. And they're going to blow it dead first. Timeout. Pit before the snap of the ball. Turn out. Not even close to what you expected. They go quick on the snap. Benson in the backfield. They try and push Travis in, and he makes it. Touchdown Seminoles. Jordan Travis kept it for the touchdown. In that mass of humanity and bodies piled on top of each other on the field. Ruin on the field is a touchdown. Travis doing it himself, capping at a 10 play drive. You see him, he's trying to just gives off to the right. Yeah, you see the ball there, it breaks the plane of the goal line clearly. That's a heck of an answer by yeah. Jordan Travis, a heck of a throw to Ja'Kai Douglas on the slot fade. His seventh rushing touchdown of the season, the 31st of his career. He's already gone over 10,000 yards passing for his career earlier in the game. And Ryan Fitzgerald ties the game at seven apiece. Clemson and LSU. After that, he hasn't been shaken by this game. Rodney Hammond in the Wildcat takes the snap. Vayer was lined up. And you're, what you're seeing is the result of all that support and that support structure that he has around him. A great story. Second down and eight. Flemister in the backfield. And we got a little bit of motion. That was Flemister. False start. Offense, number 24. Five yard penalty, second down. Played a major role in this game on both quarterbacks, and they're going to have to answer for it the entire game. Bayer, incomplete. Intent. Not have clear throwing lanes. It's going to play out all afternoon. Bayer in the offense, 0 of 4 on third down today. Catch, but short of the first down to Mumfield. And they'll have to punt here. In all probability, a nine yard game, but we got a flag down back at the line of scrimmage at the 13. I think we might have rough in the passer, huh? Personal foul, Hello? rough in the passer, yep. defense number 11. Again, that, that theme gaining confidence, the quarterback gaining confidence. Couldn't have drawn up a better script here in the first half so far. Backs out of the eye. Flemister. Flat. Holding. Offense number 78. Ten yard penalty. First down. Losing the line of scrimmage battle decisively. And other times they're coming off the football. And then here the mistakes. Wow. The penalties. False starts. False start. Offense number 24. Five yard penalty. First down. Rodney Hammond in the backfield now. On first and 25. Bayer completed the 37 yard line. That's Reynolds. And Reynolds recognizes his arm talent right away. Second and 17. Off the mark to make the young quarterback pay. Knowles in a fight right now. Bayer through the arms of his intended receiver. Junko with the kick. It's going to bounce at about the 30. Jaheim Bell in motion now set. Travis incomplete. In 
Douglas split wide to the bottom of your screen. Travis the other way. Back shoulder fade. Portier. Third and ten. Travis complete to the tight end. Kyle Morlock still on his feet amazingly. Morlock in the open field. Down to the 11-yard line. And a costly missed tackle by McMillan and Simon results in a 64-yard gain. This can't happen if you're pitch defense. You can't have two of your best defenders at the point of attack against a tight end like Kyle Morlock and let him split both of you mm. and then create an explosive like that. That's twice now that big explosive plays have happened because of missed tackles. And those are the kind of things that you're going to look back on and you lose this game. The same key turning points. Travis hands it off to Toafili. Toafili. It's just a 7 7 ball game. They're going to run the clock down. They fake the jet sweep. Travis under duress. Wisely look for down here because of the catch radius that he has. Third and nine for Florida State. Third and nine. Little movement up front. Let's see who this is against. I think we're going to get it on Morlock. I think it's a false start on the tight end, 84. Yeah, that expression might confirm what you just <laughs> said. False start. Offense number three. Five yard cut. For Jordan Travis. Got a single receiver to the top. He goes that way up in the air. Caught but out of bounds. In Ryan Fitzgerald in to attempt this field goal as a result. From 32 yards out. We get a timeout. Here's the field goal attempt. Fitzgerald from 32 gives the Seminoles a three point advantage. Under consideration. It'll be interesting to see how this plays yeah. out and how this game all. Washington and Alabama on the fringes there. A spirited run by Daniel Carter. He's made good use of his touches so There's far. There's like that out of Branson Taylor, the left tackle. Play with that kind of physicality. Bayer completes it into the boundary. Bub means into better field goal range. Bayer completed. Down to the full quickly. Spike it here. There they go. And then get the ball in the second half and capitalize again. Get to about the 34 for field goal range. Bayer complete to the sidelines. Offense number 78. 10 yard penalty, second down. You're just three DBs all the way back on the 10 yard line. Bayer going to launch one. Deep downfield. And it's in. He's shown that he can throw the football with accuracy on the outside. His playmakers can make plays in one-on-one -on -one situations you want to get points out of this because if you get points out of this and that's big right there to kick off out of Florida State undefeated Flemister stayed on his feet made a couple of guys miss used that straight arm and finally wrestled out of bounds the captain on this pit football team they respect his competitiveness he showed it right there real power running First and ten. Little play action. Taking a shot on the post. Incomplete. On second and ten. They are going to be sacked back at the 40. They got to him. Kalen Deloach knifing through that front to make the sack. One of the leaders on this defense. You're going to see Deloach on the linebacker fire. He's just coming downhill. And you can just see right there, Christian Vayers just got to get that ball out of his hands. That's Deloach's fifth sack of the year. <laughs> On the sack. It's just a momentum killer. 
They are going to be sacked again. That's the sixth one of the day. Fisky. Fisk, pardon me. Fisk with the sack. This is a nice pass rush by Braden Fisk. Just watch what he does to Jay Cradle. It's kind of a little bit of a push pull. Push, and then kind of arm overs him. And Braden mm -hmm. Fisk is one of the guys at the coaching staff here. Nick playing for Florida State. He loves everything about the game, and he has been playing high level football all year. Ball came loose on the hit. Jakeem dug into the backfield on first and ten. Travis gets it out quickly. Pass complete to the tight end, Jaheim. Second and 11. Travis downfield, pushing it downfield, incomplete. At the very, very instinctive. Toe fielding in the backfield on third and 11. And we got flags down on the field. Before the snap, false start, offense, number 70. Five-yard penalty, third down. Travis flushed out of the pocket. And sacked at the six. Great backside pursuit by Shane Simon. We spoke with him earlier. And he wants people asking after the game, Holding how did Pitt defeat Florida State? Penalties declined before the Even Seminole fans with Excedrin headache number 47. Astromano with the punt. Panthers will have great auspicious field position. Lives. Bayer's got first and ten from the 46. Gonna keep it on the ground. Hammond with a nice hole where you're supposed to fit or critical. It'll cost you if you don't get it right. On second and two, they run over the more proficient side of that offensive line the, with respect to rushing. This is Hammond into the boundary. Nice spin move. Falls during the backfield. Play fake. Little waggle action caught by Epps. Epps that big. It's Ben Mumfield. He looks like he's one on one down here at the bottom of the screen. Bayer not going to have time. And his rush to throw it out of know what he was looking After at. After further review, the ruling on the field stands will be fourth down. Today, Pitt officially out of field goal range after the penalty. And not the best effort there by Caleb Junko. Jaheim Bell in motion. Travis going to pull it out. Actually, no, he doesn't. Solomon. A gap, double B gap pressure. That Pitt has applied relentlessly all afternoon. Toa Feely motions out of the backfield. Travis, little receiver screen complete. And a nice run after the catch by Ja'Kai Douglas with all north and south in a hurry. Travis going to throw it. Douglas, little bump and grind down the side there. And that's going to be a late flag against somebody either Marquise Williams or Ja'Kai Douglas Williams with his palms up in the air I'm not sure that this is like not even catchable after further discussion there is no foul for pass interference yeah. the second down or tear to the bottom of your screen Keep it on the ground with Rodney Hill. They have been in lockstep all afternoon. Third down. Travis, a dart. Complete near mid. He put that ball on a rope. On the 48-yard line. Going to keep it on the ground with Trey Benson. Mm. He might have gotten a tough yard at best. Got the message yeah. this week. Second and nine. Jacobs in motion. Jacobs down the seam, makes the catch in the first down. 
down to the 31-yard line. Speeds up his process, gets the ball out. Another pinpoint shot. First and ten from the 32. Torafili between the tackles down to the 20. Fellows across the front. Second and three. They'll run it again. Torafili with nowhere to go. Benson in the backfield on third and three. Travis incomplete. Intended for Toafili out of the backfield. Travis wanted a flag. And we might have gotten a late one. Yeah, they're going to get yeah. Brandon George. Which Narduzzi in disbelief there. And he gets him. You're going to see it right here. He's going to come across like this. You're going to see Brandon George right here. As he's trying to get across that. That's what they call pass interference on the defense. Yes. Bobby placed the squad to foul at the mat. First down. He's saying this is my game. Chakai Douglas split to the bottom of your screen in motion now. Going to hand it off to Trey Benson. Good tackling, and they limit Benson to whether it be as a blitzer getting out on the edge and making tackles in space. You see it right here. Touchdown Seminoles Douglas on the catch and Jordan Travis strikes there it is you're going to see right here there's just going to be a void down the middle of the field it seems like there's a little bit of confusion here you got three on two at the top they go empty and they just don't cover down on the on the tight wow. end Douglas and they just let him free release and vacate the second and third level of the defense. It's a mis miscommunication of some sort. Gave him an easy one that time. Douglas with the second touchdown catch of the season. Jordan Travis with his 19th touchdown pass this year. Sim no, I'm just saying again, Mark, just yeah. put it in the hands of the one of the best yep. players in the country. Let him figure it out post snap because those are the results you're going to get. To Douglas. Bit looking to rally here. It's getting dark at 3 yes. o'clock, 4 o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. Vega got rid of it. Pop for the first down. Bump from the 38. Play action. Incomplete. The running game, the pass protection, the synergy with the wide receivers. I think he's pro progressing nicely. He hands it off here. Nowhere to go. Four receivers get out of the break, and he's going to need to deliver a big one here. There. Almost intercepted at the four in the third quarter. <laughs> Junko the walk on with the punt fair catch back at the 15 yard. You know what? I've been so dialed into this game. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if I'm missing. It could have been that big. We would have heard but about I'm a it. Yeah. Yeah. Look here. I like what they're doing under some difficult circumstances there in New York. Travis pulls it out. Going downfield and caught. Mm. What a grab. And Jordan Travis is threading this football through a needle hole. Wow. It's unbelievable. That's a great throw. A great throw. Only his receiver could have caught it. Good for 30 yards. Benson through a gaping hole. Benson kicked in the turbo. Good night. Touchdown Seminoles. 55 yards in a sprint across the Pittsburgh night. You're going to see right here. Double team, Shane Simon. You take a side, and this is what happens. You get gashed. If you don't hit this square up, you see right there, you just make it easy for the offensive lineman to just wall you off. If you just put a shoulder in there, and you don't square that block up and make it harder for the running back to hit that ball like that, that's what happens. You create creases in the front. He was untouched, and it starts a hemorrhaging of fans heading for the exits here in Pittsburgh Benson's eighth rushing touchdown of the season chronicled what a great comeback story he's been.
And you see it right there. You can see Tyler was, Bentley trying to hold on to that double team. And again, untouched, Lewis. Yeah, if you're Simon, you just gotta you gotta try and square that up. You gotta try and take that on flush. It just created two at Florida State. 11 rushes, 93 yards, and that touchdown to break this game open a little bit at 24-7. Kenny Johnson on the return stopped up. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, kicking team number 38, his first foul of the game, uh, first unsportsmanlike foul of the game, 15-yard penalty, first down. Be it early. Bayer hands it off. We're here now. How they play takes on a lot of impacted. I mean, that's how they train. That's what they do. But we have 15 more, 15 more minutes, and we just got to go play better. Thank you, coach. Now trying to get better as a football team. They run it here, Rodney Hammond, over the right side. Who I want to go to war with, so to speak. I mean, it, it's it's an important time in this game. A lot of young players, freshmen on this team, seeing significant time. That's going to be a gain of Bob Means out to the top of your screen. Reynolds in motion. Bayer got rid of it quickly. Pass complete to Mumfield, and he's going to be close to the first down. I don't like getting him done in this kind of situation, I can tell you that. It's going to be Carter lining up in the Wildcat, but instead. Pittsburgh takes his first time out of the half. They're going to Jerkovic goes under center, takes the snap, and will pick up the first down. Again, chunk plays. How can we get the ball down the field, get the ball to Mumfield? Oh, boy. Ball start. Offense number 21-17 and 58-7 last week, and more linen on the field. Ball start. Offense number 68. Five yard penalty. First down. He's a former starter. You just can't have these kind of issues. You can't have it when you're trying to establish some kind of rhythm and some kind of consistency. Bayer high picked off at the 25 yard line and the defender fell down. Hussey with the INT. Conrad Hussey out of Sunrise, Florida. Out of the highly esteemed program, St. Thomas Aquinas in Fort Lauderdale. College football delivered by Papa John's. Seminoles with the football. Rodney Hill put his pads down. Donovan McMillan. Travis trying to get his shoulder square to throw it. Comes back the other way. Got a receiver, and he's got some runners. Destin Hill. And Hill makes it deep into pit territory at the 35 yard line. Dual threat capabilities. You're never out of it. Hands it off to Benson. Straight ahead between the tackles. A nice game. Seminoles with the football in control. On second and six. Little reverse and pass. Travis sacked back in midfield. Third and 23 as a result. Travis into traffic and incomplete intended correction after that and rebirth Jordan Travis a big part of that and a nice punt to Florida State and evoking those memories with their record this year a nice pass and catch Carter in the backfield I think that Carter. Travis looked good, pardon me. He stayed true to that purpose. He stayed true to the mission as the ball goes incomplete in the far side. Looks like the pit player should. Blue. Defense number 20 of an eligible receiver. 10 yard penalty automatic. First down. First and 10 pit from the 32 yard line. Pardon me, the 28. Duh. Five. They are getting after it. They're complete underneath. That's me. 
Third and three. They are incomplete. It's not like he's getting hit. He's not getting beat up, getting put on the ground. And they've identified him now. They've nailed it. Yeah. There is a science to working the portal. This is Rodney Hill. He's going to be you can take on what you can't, what will fit. And Mike Norvell has a great idea of what will fit now. It was interesting talking to people down on the field. They were just saying just a couple years ago, this team was not in contention for anything. And they have changed it in a hurry. That has a lot of coaches excited. A lot of people excited yeah. about the college game, quite honestly. Yeah, there's a blueprint there to follow. Talent. That's all about identifying the right makeup, yeah. right, Quint? I mean, the right kind of guy. Third and long. And he talked about that extensively. Backside pressure. There's a flag down in the backfield. That's complete to Rodney Hill. Let's see if this stands or not. Holding offense number 63. That penalty is declined. Defense. No. Don't want to be no. messing around with that right now. Uh, his night has got to be done now. Down to the 22 schools going at it with one another. They are hands it off. That's the that's the first thing the fan or the administration down there said when we went down there for the Virginia Tech game. Yeah, this game's going to be great, but man, <laughs> if you down here at night, that's completely fumbled and scooped up by the Seminoles in the secondary. Brown, Shaheem Brown. Scooped up the fumble from Bub Means. So Feely going in the locker room. Holmes in the backfield. Bell in motion. They'll hand it off to Holmes. Game he kind of took over, throwing the football. Second and 13. Holmes. Associate head coach Stan Jones. It's kind of there's, there's a lot of sports on TV right oh, now, yeah. man. A lot of NBA, a lot oh, of college football, and NFL. It's a good time for sports fans. Yeah. And the college football season is really starting to heat up right now with the, the push for the playoffs and every game. Oh, nice catch over the middle, and that's going to be a targeting flag on Stephon Hall. Jacobs got rocked after making the catch over the middle. And that's going to be an easy one to know what the flag was thrown for. Obviously, a targeting. Look for the launch and the crown of the helmet. You can hear it up here the helmet, the helmet. That plays under further review. Number 25 has been disqualified. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. I understand they have to sit out the next half of yeah, the game. That, that's, hard. that's ridiculous. On the handoff, this is Holmes. First and goal, Seminoles. This team's a very resourceful football team. A lot of different ways they can attack you. We've seen it today. The pass by Rodemaker complete to the tight end, Morlock. The field, the starting left guard. When you're talking about the transfer portal, it's not just about the perimeter players. As a matter of fact, it's probably more about the big men than ever before. Yeah, we've seen examples of teams that have been impact downhill from there. Coach Norvell and the Seminoles going end up winning it 24 to 7. And with the win, they notch a berth in the conference championship game for the first time since 2014.